All right, so Vance writes in wondering if there are age limits on when you can do Roth conversions. So let's uh, read this specifically. Hey, Josh, I uh, love your live shows. Lots of energy and super informative. Not sure if I can make the live ones, but I always watch your replays. Thank you, my friend. I'd love to submit a question on Roth conversions. I know one of my favorite topics. Yep, you've been falling. Good job. Um, I'm planning to still be working, God willing, into my 70s. So I'm wondering how late can I do a Roth conversion? In other words, I know RMDs start around 70, but I can can I convert a traditional IRA or IRA roller roll over after RMDs kick in? I'm sure my income will be lower when I hit the early to mid 70s. Part two, is this even a good idea? I saw some guy on Morningstar that says if you're in your 60s, it's probably not worth it unless you're leaving money in your will. All right. So first, the first thing I want to capture, you're not leaving money in your will if it's an IRA. I mean, heaven forbid, just don't do that, my friends. Your will will not move IRA assets. The beneficiary designation will move IRA assets. And what happens is if you do not name a beneficiary in your IRA to a human being, thus your IRA will go through probate and there's all kinds of complications on that. And that way your will will move it you're making a huge mistake unless there's something you want to happen. Like you don't want your kids to get the money. And so you want a probate office. I don't know why you do that. You just want to leave it into a trust. But I'm just telling you, the will will not move IRA assets unless, 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 I cannot stress this enough, you make the horrific mistake about not naming a beneficiary on your IRA. I, can, I just, I got to stress that more. So my man Vance, you want to make sure without question that you name a beneficiary on your IRA and then the will has nothing to do with it. Any account that has a beneficiary designation bypasses probate. Thus, it bypasses your will because probate is nothing more than a public proving of your will. Life insurance, uh, IRAs, 401ks, you can name transfer on death accounts on regular taxable accounts, on brokerage accounts, CD accounts would be a POD. So beneficiary designations bypass probate and so they bypass your will. All right. Is there an age limit on converting uh, uh, from a traditional IRA or 401k to a Roth? No, absolutely not. Uh, you can be the oldest man in the world and still, and still convert from your IRA 401k to your Roth, but you cannot convert your RMDs. All right, so if you have $100,000 in a traditional IRA and you have $3,500 of RMDs, required minimum distribution, those have to come out first, and then your conversion would be any amount above and beyond that. Does that make sense? So essentially, your $100,000 IRA would be reduced by your RMDs, and the rest of that could be converted. So in that case, it would be um, $100,000 minus, we'll just say for simplicity, $4,000 of RMDs. So you could convert $96,000 in this case. So in this case, you have $100,000 as your IRA balance. You got $4,000 of RMDs. The amount you could convert would be the remaining $96,000. And you can do that anytime you want. There's no age limit at all on that. It's just you cannot convert those $4,000 of RMDs. It can't happen. Um, yeah, the Morningstar guy, see, this is why. So he says, uh, is this even a good idea? Some guy in Morningstar says, if you're in your late 60s, it's probably not worth it. I, I, I just, that's silly. I, I, mean, my, I mean, I know he would never say, I wasn't saying that. I was just saying as a general I say the exact opposite. I say, generally speaking, you should be converting, especially if you're married. If you're married, absolutely, because, again, you're leaving your spouse the tax bomb. I wish someone would write a book on the tax bomb. Oh, look at this. Shameless plug the tax bomb in your retirement account because you don't want to leave your surviving spouse a tax bomb. And if you're married, finally, jointly, you have two standard deductions and you have a higher tax bracket before you go into the higher tax effective tax rates, marginal tax rates. So essentially, when you're married filing jointly, you can take advantage of those two things that you will not be able to do when you're surviving spouse. So at the end of the day, the default should be to convert, not not to convert. The default should be, why should I not convert? Not why should I convert? So when you're looking at converting for not converting, you have to go into a different mentality. You say, my mentality is I'm going to convert. And then you got to say to yourself, why would I not convert? Let's see if I can make this so I don't convert. You're trying to shoot it down. You're going into, I'm going to convert unless I can have some reasonable expectations and convince myself otherwise. 
what the morning star guy would be he would say the exact opposite you shouldn't convert let's see if we can make it work so you can't no 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 no. you should convert let's see if we can make it so you should not convert like the case i had the other day where the people had uh pretty significant tax regardless they're gonna have taxes here taxes there taxes everywhere and so to convert in that case to pull those taxes forward substantial taxes forward didn't make sense so we went in assuming they should convert and then as i just could see that wasn't i didn't think it's gonna be worth their while to do that so hope that answers your question vance you should convert absolutely that should be your fault your default your default if you're married if you're not married i still think it should be your default but it's gonna be less attractive frankly if you're single uh, but you should convert uh, there's no age limit. You just can't convert your RMD and make sure you have beneficiary designations on all your accounts. That way they avoid probate and thus your will won't speak to them because a will is sim- probate is simply a public proving of your will. That's exactly what it is. All right. Thanks for the email. We'll see you next time.